All right, we are about to rock and roll. So what we're doing tonight is yet another 369 Financial Transformation Call. I really appreciate you guys for joining us on all platforms. Now, just so you guys understand, we have another one tomorrow. I've been doing four calls in a row. That's Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night. Why? Because I'm so passionate about helping people understand this financial game. Not that I'm a guru. I'm not some financial planner. I'm not some financial advisor. Um, actually, you'll hear my story shortly. I've actually lost seven figures when I was in my 20s and 30s because nobody taught me about money. So I vowed that when I rebounded in my late 30s and early 40s that I would help as many people as possible understand finances because it's just something that's not really taught in schools. Now, here's a little warm up for you guys before we get into the 369 financial transformation and how you can let it or, or how it can impact your family. I want you guys to really think about this. America is the land of the free, the home of the brave, and a lot of people are struggling financially. Now, why is that? Well, it's because they don't really teach you the courses that you need to learn in college. Now, I won't get into that tonight, but they always teach you, you know, and I'm not knocking people with these degrees. I have a degree, and I have a degree in English, so what did I think I was doing, right? I thought I was going to law school, but um, God had another plan for me as my business took off. But my point is, people have business administration, people have finance degrees, um, people have economic degrees, and what's interesting is that we get these degrees from professors who don't own a business. Now, that's not a knock on anybody. I love educators. I think teachers are under, underpaid. I think professors are underpaid. I hate that there are a lot of PhDs out there who don't even have jobs. I hate the statistics, but I'm just going to deliver them to you. Why does an economic professor teach economics and they don't a lot of times have a business? Why does a business administration professor teach business admin so you can go get a job? Why does a finance professor struggle a lot of times financially? I don't know. Why do they call stock brokers stock brokers, right? Just a little joke. But no, seriously, my point to everybody is America plays a little game when it comes to finances. And here's how this game works. We're going to send you to school and tell you from grades K through 12, to listen to this bell ring and do as you're told. Okay, no problem. Then we're gonna send you four more years of undergrad, no problem. Now by then, hopefully you should have enough experience to get a good job. Okay, no problem if the job is gonna pay me back the return on my investment that I gave it to get in debt to go to school to get it. Well, if it doesn't, guess what? You can always get your master's. I'm not knocking education again, I'm just giving you the facts. Okay, no problem. I get my master's degree, I get in more debt to come back out, and they're still not teaching business and entrepreneurship, which is where a lot of the success in this country comes from. So you guys have to understand that it's a lot bigger than just working a job for 30 or 40 years and hoping that you retire and make making less than what you made when you were working. It's a bit, so I'm just warming up here, it's a big game that's being played. Most people who struggle are, have a good job. They're married, for example, and have another job. Most people that struggle have no idea that the reason they're struggling is because of the things I'm going to talk about tonight on this conference call. They get married. They think if they double their incomes, then they'll be out of um, debt. Doesn't happen. They think if they cut back on their cell phone bill and eating out and um, carpool more, they can save to invest. It doesn't happen. They think if they go back to school and get another degree, they can get a higher wage. True, possibly, but at the same time, what happens? You got more debt that came with the higher wage, so it doesn't happen. They really think that they, when they retire, because it's called the golden years, people actually think that they're going to have more money coming in when you stop working than you actually have when you're working. Not going to happen. So America sells us on this bill of goods, and then we wake up and realize, you know what? I should have I started a business a long time ago. Here is the reality. Tonight, I'm going to give you a, some insight into a financial education. In other words, a strategy. Now, I didn't make this up, all right? I'm just a messenger. Don't, don't judge me. Don't shoot me. I'm very transparent. I went to Morehouse College. I was broke. Rock bottom for me was $19 in one account, $10 in the other. Needed some gas money. Back then, you couldn't get um, but 20 bucks out the ATM machine, right? I mean, 20 bucks was the minimum. And I didn't have $20 in either account. <laughs> so I had $29 to my name, needed some gas, couldn't get where I was going, 
and had $10 in savings <laughs> and $19 in checking. That was rock bottom for me, man. I talk about it all the time. And then I retired when I was 22 years old. Why? Because I started a business when I was 19. So my sophomore year in college, I finally got under the tutelage and the wings of people who were making money. And I want you guys to understand, as I give you this strategy tonight, the first thing you got to do is surround yourself with some people that are money minded. See, most people are scarcity minded. You got to get around some people who are abundance minded, who have a mentality of a millionaire, who are actually making millions of dollars. You got to get around some people so that a crumb off of their plate is a buffet for you, right? A crumb off their plate is a buffet for you because the, their plate is just that big. It wasn't until I changed my circle that my thinking started changing. And when I started changing my thinking, then guess what? My circumstances started changing. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. I want you to write down on a sheet of paper, three, six, and nine. And I want you to write them going like vertically, like under each other. Three and then under three, six, and then under six, nine. Now, what is three, six, and nine? Well, those are time increments. Within three days, we're gonna teach you strategy one, which is cash flow management. So next to the three, you can put days equals cash flow management. That's what we're gonna show you. There's a big difference between income and cash flow, and a lot of people don't know the difference. Within six weeks, we're gonna show you how to start earning business income. You wanna add or have some business income on your portfolio, why? Because businesses are taxed different than employees. In other words, employers are taxed one way and employees are taxed another way. I'm gonna explain that a little bit more tonight. And then the nine represents nine months. Within nine months or less, you wanna open up your brokerage or investment account. Now, why is that important? Because you need to have money working for you. So on my Facebook page, I've been doing webinars and conference calls for you to listen to and watch since Monday. Monday, Tuesday, tonight is Wednesday. And each night, I'm kind of, I'm emphasizing something different. And tonight, I want to emphasize the importance of business income, okay? Now, I, I'm not going to skate over the three and the nine. I'm going to emphasize the six, but I want to introduce you guys to three, six, and nine. Go back on my Facebook page and look at the previous um, webinars from yesterday and the day before if you want more emphasis in other areas. Now, Three stands for three days cash flow management. Now, I hit big on this uh, the day before yesterday. Cash flow is measured in time. Income is measured in dollars. Most Americans have money. They just don't have it on time. And when you understand what's called the future value of money, write that in your notes, the future value of money, you'll stop doing things that cause you to have a negative cash flow. For example, late fees give you a negative cash flow because when you're late, they charge you an extra fee, and because you have the money, but not on time, then it costs you more money, right? ATM fees, inconvenience of using Bank of America's ATM, when you really bank at uh, Chase, they both hit you for $3, that's $6, and all you needed was 20, but it cost you 26. See, that's a negative cash flow cycle. All these payday loans, and lease to own, and all these things tie up your cash flow with high interest rates, and then it, end, it ends up costing you more money. And when you realize that the future value of money is something you cannot calculate, what that means is, had you put the $60 late fees for six months in an interest-bearing account for the past 20 years, that could have been $1,800 that would have been compounded over the past 20 years. In other words, $10 on a late fee of one bill Let's say you're late for 12 months. Let's just go ahead and go take it out for the year instead of six. That's um, 120 bucks on one bill. Now, if you got six bills doing that, that's 60 bucks times 12. You understand? So now we're over $600 a year just in late fees. So capitalism robs you 10 bucks at a time because your cash flow is negative. Now, if we take the 600 bucks, and multiply it by the number of years you've been working, they robbed you 10 bucks at a time, but they robbed you of the future value of money. You can't calculate how much that is. You can't calculate how much that is. The future value of money says, hey, that's 600 bucks times 10 years at 8%, multiply and exponentially growing for you 
they robbed you of thousands of dollars that could have been in your retirement. See, anytime they rob you of the ability to invest, you really can't calculate how much you lost. So go back to the previous webinar Monday night so you can see how we help you clean up your cash flow and get on the positive side of cash flow instead of the negative side of cash flow. That's very important. Now, number two is what I want to emphasize tonight is business income. Now, let me make sure you guys get this because this is important. If you know your history, America had this before it was actually discovered, even though it had occupants on the land, but that's another training. But before America was quote unquote discovered by so-called forefathers, they broke away from what? Britain, the great British army, the biggest, baddest army, quote unquote, of all times. Now, why did they break away? Anybody remember? It was all over taxes. If you think about it, this country was started, this, this, this system that we know of was started by a revolution called the American Revolution all over what? Over the tax game. They weren't happy, so they broke away. And then guess what? Brought the same mentality to the same country. Here's why. In Britain, you either were a lord or a servant, right? That means you had land or you didn't. Now, in America, either you're a business owner or you work for somebody who is. You're an employer or an employee. All they did was switch the names. They brought the same system over and said, hey, let's give the advantages to the land owner. In America, that's called the employer or business owner. We can't give the tax advantages to the employee because they don't have a business and the people who started this country were in their times wealthy. So you know they put laws in place to benefit who? Wealthy people. So you'll never get wealthy if you don't play by the rules that they play by. Wealthy people have a business. 67% of a wealthy person's wealth comes from non-wage income. That means they're not working for it. 67%. So when you see Oprah and you see Mark Cuban, and you see now Jay-Z, shout out to Jay-Z, first hip hop billionaire. You got a lot of people making millions and millions and millions of dollars, right? Beyonce and Nas, his, his, his deal now. And I mean, I love it. You got um, all these entrepreneurs, the gentleman who just paid off the class of 2019 Morehouse College, all their student, all their student loans are just paid off by one man. You gotta love it. They don't make money the same way we do. The good news is a lot of them started off like they did with a job and they learned some strategies and they parlay that into wealth. Well, guess what? You can do the exact same thing, you, but you have to start a business in order to lower your taxes. That's why I'm hitting this big tonight. You got to know why that is. The government can't give the tax breaks to both of y'all. They can't give it to the business owner and the employees. The business owner gets it. Why? Or, or how, how do you know that? Well, think about this for a second. Anytime America wants you to do something to kind of incentivize you to do it, they give you tax breaks. So that's why if you marry, you get a tax break because they want couples to connect and stay married for, long, long, for longevity's sake, right? So they encourage it by giving you a tax deduction by filing marriage. If you have children, you get a tax break. They want you to be fruitful and multiply. If you have a house, Right? I mean, you can have the same house. I can rent, same exact model, and you can own. You get the tax break on the interest, and all my rent does is help the landlord get a tax break on his interest. Now, I'm renting, for example, and you own, for example. We got the same house, but you get the tax break. Why? Because America is trying to incentivize you to buy a house. So, if America is giving you tax breaks for owning a business, they must want you to have one. Because in every other example, the tax break is what they give you to give you an incentive. So Brian, what's the incentive for a business owner? Well, it's simple. Business owners get to work first, spend second, then pay taxes after they spend. That's the code of a 1099. Work, spend, tax. The code of a W-2 is work, tax, spend. 
So what they're saying is you get you got to spend your money on a W-2, which is a job, after you pay the government. Oh, but Mr. Business Owner, you get to work first. We need you to stay cash flow positive. So you pay all your expenses and take care of yourself first, then pay the taxes on what's left, thereby giving them a lower tax rate because they're subtracting all their expenses. Well, the question is, why don't you have a business so you can play by that same set of rules? Oh, I know, because they didn't teach you that in school. You, you, so you learn that when you get the hard knocks in the real life after your degree and after your debt and after your marriage and maybe after a divorce and maybe after a few children. Now you're frustrated and you're saying, man, I can't open a business. Now you beat down and downtrodden, right? And you feel like you can't do it. Yeah, you can do it. And guess what? With the promotion we have going on, it's less than 20 bucks. I said it and I'm going to say it again. Less than 20 bucks, guys. We're doing a promotion right now. The value is thousands of dollars, but just for a couple of weeks in June, that's why I'm doing four of these in a row, you get a $20 a $20 investment actually allows you to open up a home-based business. 20 bucks. Don't tell me you ain't you don't have twenty dollars. You spent twenty dollars today in gas. You spent twenty bucks this week in food. You spent twenty bucks on something way less than a business. And they say the average deduction, the average deduction for a business owner from home is five hundred a month minimization in taxes, five hundred bucks. So that's six thousand a year that you can give yourself a pay raise if you just have a home based business. Y'all don't hear me? Now go to your boss right now and ask him for a $6,000 a year raise. Our company is called My Econ. That's short for My Economy. Our belief is that the personal financial success of you, the individual, is way better than the personal financial success of a company. In other words, we teach you strategies, how to hire your children, how to get double-digit returns. We don't recommend investments. Right? I'm not licensed. I can't tell you what to invest in, but we teach you how investments actually work so that you can be educated and get with a certified financial advisor and things like that. We teach you how to lower your taxes legally, ethically, morally. We give you the mobile app and the software to eliminate your debt. We give you the do-it-yourself system to repair your credit. All of this for $19? And some of y'all still don't think about it. It's not my problem. My job is to deliver the information. So let me get this straight. We can bring your taxes down legally, ethically, and morally. We can snowball your debt and eliminate your debt. You got people getting deeds to their homes. You got people paying off credit cards. You got people increasing their credit score. You got people lowering their expenses, which increases their cash flow, which allows them to have more money to invest. And you sitting up here talking about 20 bucks. $34.95 per month for the entire membership to sustain and continue teaching you. No contract, no obligation. A dollar and 17 cents a day is what $34 amounts to. Now you get to really learn the strategies that help individuals like myself earn five figure checks per week sometimes. I've seen five figure weeks over this little small investment and you don't believe God gave you the, the, what's the word, the message tonight to take 15 to 20 minutes out your schedule and you still not hearing them loud and clear. This is a blessing, man. These kind of things don't last forever. Don't wait until it goes back up into the hundreds and when you can take advantage of a promotional right now for 19. So the nine represents, so the six represents within six weeks or less. We, that's the most. Within six weeks or less, we're going to teach you how to start earning business income. Out of everybody's $34.95 membership, you can start earning anywhere from three to five to eight dollars per month of every $34.95 that's introduced to our membership. So imagine earning, let's say for example, five dollars a month of a thousand people. That's five thousand dollars a month. You mean to tell me I gotta tell five thousand people? No, it's called leverage. You can introduce people to us, webinars, conference calls, as you can see, Facebook Live or whatever mechanism you want to use, attraction marketing, in-home meetings, YouTube, whatever methods you want to use. And as your organization grows, you start earning anywhere from three, five to eight dollars per month. We also have weekly checks. 
hundreds and thousands of dollars per week being paid out four, three, four, and five figure weeks. Look, forget that. Let's just say you made 80 bucks a week. <laughs> let's, just, let's talk small just for a second so you won't think I'm just blowing smoke. Let's say you had $320 a week extra and then you had a residual check coming in for 500 a month. That's over $1,200 a month that your home-based business is generating just in commissions. And we're not even talking about the tax dollars and the debt that we've gotten down that we brought back to your household. You can cash flow $1,500 just in tax minimization and debt elimination. And then another $1,500 a month in commissions, that's $3,000 a month. That's $36,000 a year. You created your own full-time job from home. Do I need to say good night now or later? All right, $36,000 a year that you created from home. See, everybody wants to make millions and you can get there. But first, make an extra five to 600 and learn what to do with it. And then you can compound that into your wealth. So within nine months, man, you have the education you need to start investing and getting double digit returns. Again, on my Facebook page, right? I'll show you guys. I mean, I'll show you guys yesterday, cash flow management, the day before I talk more about the taxes. And then tomorrow, I'm going to talk more about the investing. Same time, same number, same Facebook page, same Instagram page, wherever you're looking at me right now. Get the knowledge because I'm going to do one more tomorrow night at the same time. Until then, inbox or call or text or DM the person who puts you on this presentation. If it was me, give me a text, give me an inbox, give me a DM, and I'll help you get started. 19 bucks. If it's somebody else other than me, just let them know, hey, I saw Mr. Bean's webinar. I heard his conference call. I want to get my password and my software, and they will give you the link and the four-digit codes and things necessary for you to open up the vault to wealth. It's time for us to get what we deserve. It's time for us to stop being miseducated, and it's time for us to stop thinking that wealth is only for a certain demographic. It may be, but let that demographic include you. That's my time, man. Money Talks, Wealth Whispers. I'll see you guys tomorrow night, same time, same station. Invite people and let's start changing the mindset of the world. All right, have a good night.